Welcome back to the channel guys. It's your boy Smokesta here back at you with another Video and before we get into this just take a look at this gear and these gloves that my man OG Steezes from SSR Made for me to commemorate 5,000 subscribers. He's got the chamois time on the chest He's got the chamois time on the palms got the peace logo hashtag night shift. He put smoke star and the date of me hitting 5k inside of 5k fun fact smoke star is actually how i originally got the name smoke stuh but i took the r off ha! that happened forever ago that's crazy i love it man thank you og i greatly appreciate it but we're gonna get into this real quick so we are on moribund mx which is my second track release in mx bikes now it's not perfect but i focused a lot on some different things one from feedback i got from the first one and two things that i was not happy with about the first one so some of the things that i got feedback on from the first one was the ruts weren't big enough and they didn't hold you so we fixed that on this track and the ruts will hold you now even though they still look like berms, but I will touch on that later because I figured something out on the very last one that I built and I will show you later. Um, and two, it was too smooth was another thing that a lot of people were saying. So I added some rough sections to this track, two sand sections that are quite rough. And then on the straightaway after the start, um, that, that ground is pretty rough, not flat and it's not extremely rough, you know, but it's rough enough. So we focused on those to improve those for the people that were not satisfied with that aspect from the first one. Now, the rest of it, the way I built my jumps, stuff like that, I like jumps that give you good air, that pop you up. They're easy to throw nice whips on. And I kind of kept the same style going into this one, just more refined. Now, as you can see, here's the sand section. It is rough and it does slow you down. We are on the 250 and I'm telling you, you have to hit that outside right there to hit this triple unless you can find a way through that sand section and keep your speed. So keep that in mind. But the other thing is I was not happy with the text string on the first track. A lot of people said they liked it. I did not like it. I hated it. So for this one, I spent a lot of time and worked really hard on the texturing and the masking by the way shout out to kevin foyla because without his tutorial i would not have been able to do this and because of his tutorial i think my masking job looks pretty damn good now that could be a personal preference but i think that it turned out phenomenally so those were the main things that i worked on now as for the things that I will work on on my next track, I'm going to work more on the skybox, the lighting, and, um, you know, how the edge of the map translates into the skybox. So it doesn't just look like you're dropping off. You know, I want that to be a better edge on it. So that's what I'm going to work on on my next track. But this one so far is very good. It's very fun. It has the motocross track. It has the supercross track. And it is, uh, it has a freestyle track. Now, right up here, actually, I put an invisible wall just in case you crash so your bike doesn't fly off the edge. And I will show that next time around. Just because I envision somebody crashing at some point in that corner. And if your bike goes flying over the edge, you're not going to be a happy camper when your lap don't count and you're in the middle of a race. So I put an invisible wall right there um, just to kind of stop that from happening. You know what I'm saying? So... That is definitely, I think that's definitely going to benefit some people. Because um, not everybody is able to stay on the track 24-7. I mean, I crash quite often as well. So, And then I guess another thing I didn't uh, bring up was I had the triple on Smokesta's headquarters. That triple uphill was initially like a, a stretch on the 250. You know what I'm saying? And I shrunk it down and there was actually quite a few people that had tested it that weren't happy that I shrunk it down They liked it being a stretch. So because of that I added another uphill triple to this track, but I kept it Being a stretch. So this thing is a stretch if you don't hit it 100% correctly, you're gonna case it and 
it, it sucks but it is very possible on the 250 and the 450 now the 450 has a lot more power and because these jumps pop you up higher you're gonna have to scrub really hard on the 450 i feel like to you know not over jump jumps because i mainly rode the 250 while testing it but i did ride the 450 um quite a bit to make sure that you know everything worked out so now i, I do want to shout out red rider for all of these objects and earthworks for answering any questions i had whenever i got stumped shout out to sb suki for helping me out with the track um as far as you know testing and any questions that i had suki was right there shout out to Nazwad for testing it og steezus for testing it and uh here let's see if we can hit this wall the invisible barrier yeah so i made it to where even if you hit it really hard you're not gonna like fly up over the top of it and i added another one you know it's the same one it carries on throughout all of this so that way you can't get punted off the edge of the track i feel like that was you know paying attention to the details man so also um yeah man that whip it like smokes the uh inflatable right there if it wasn't for red rider i would not have had it in the track because when i originally built it it was like matte black and it didn't look good at all so red rider went in and messed with it and got it looking really nice and i am super thankful to him for that we got the reaper doc banners on here pro precision norms co signs we got mook lab signs um another shout out to kevin foyla because i used his uh wood signs and you know made some of my own and use his original ones um so that way i was able to get you know clouds and um par parada and hell machine and exhibit and earthworks shout out to king mx because he's always answering my questions um i was able to do a lot of that that i didn't know the first time around you know because i suck so bad at blender but i'm starting to get better at blender so i'm starting to able to be able to venture out and do different things with it now i do oh also shout out to rc designs got him on the banner keeping me hooked up with that gear all the time um but i was able to do a lot of things that i initially wasn't able to do on the other track and pay more attention to the details there's shadows on this track even which there wasn't on the last one because i figured that out and yeah look at that inflatable right there thank you very much red rider i greatly appreciate that we're gonna go check out the super cross track though man super cross track is my first super cross track and i love these signs though i, I swear if it wasn't for uh I, so the first signs i had on the first one i liked but i wasn't 100 percent happy with so when i found kevin foyla's ones and realized like i can create a psd and gimp and then work on it it definitely made things like a lot easier so if it wasn't for foyla i wouldn't be having these signs but i thought they looked cool man so i went through and tried to create everybody that helped or gave opinions tried to create them all their own sign there's quite a few scattered throughout the track um so if you're wondering if you're on here i guess you're just gonna have to ride the track to find out you know what i mean <laughs> but this is the first super cross track i've built and yeah oh yeah those are still have collisions in case you were wondering <laughs> but this supercross track is not insanely um like great i want to say i didn't put timing gates on it because i didn't know how people would feel about it if it ends up being well received i'll change it and put timing gates on it but it's my first supercross track so it's gonna be rough around the edges you know what i'm saying it was my first attempt at it and oh yeah another thing i worked on is a lot of people were saying that the other track was very one lined look at this huge quad a lot of people were saying the other one was very one lined so i made it a very uh how do i say i made a very strong effort to make oh my gosh we're stuck but there is an invisible wall so you don't fly off <laughs> but i made a very conscious effort to make sure that there are a lot of multi-line choices now there are some lines that only the 450s can hit on the motocross track if you're not on 450 you're not gonna be able to hit them and i kind of did that intentionally so yeah man but overall it was a fun experience this is that rut that i made last that i finally learned how to make a rut the right way so on my next track all the ruts are going to be like that they're going to not look like berms <laughs> but 
like I said, man, it's only my second track. I'm learning a lot, and I have a lot more to learn, and I'm excited to keep building these, so... Drop a comment down below if you think that I should keep making tracks, man. I, I'm, I mean, regardless of how you feel, I'm going to, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, other than that, man, make sure you join that Discord. That way you guys can uh, g enter giveaways, get the tracks a couple days early before I release them on MXB Mods. Stuff like that, man. Um, we have a lot of people up in there, a good community, and if you want to join, feel free. Link will be in the description. And other than that, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time, man. Peace.